Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are going to be going over my first impressions of the new Jaylee sewing patterns. They released a whole bunch of new patterns and so I thought it'd be fun to do a first impression since you guys are liking these videos so much. If you don't know about Jaylee, they are a mother and daughter duo out of Canada. Super cute, super sweet. Um, they have a really great About Us section on their website that's like a really fun, cute read. Um, but yeah, they're just a, a very small, family-owned business um, making great indie sewing patterns for the whole family. Something that's really cool that they do is patterns for everyone. Kids, uh, mom, dad, um, everyone. So if you are a mom with a child who's into cheerleading or speed skating, if you do yoga, you know, all these activities, they cover those, which is really cool and fun. And then they also have stuff for women and for men as well. But we're just going to go over their latest collection today. Um, and we're going to skip over the usual suspects. So we're going to skip over anything for kids or for um, like the specific activities they have here. And um, just simply because I don't really know how to judge those. <laughs> I don't make those. They look adorable though in these pictures. And this is just making me wish I could go back to my 10 year old self and find a place to figure skate in South Carolina. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're just going to go over the women's patterns today. All right. So this first one is the Mimosa Scoop Neck T-shirt. Um, really cute option here with the ruffle. Obviously, I love that. Let me see if I can figure out the best way to scroll through all of this. I guess it's just like this. So we've got a basic tee, kind of a mid-length on the sleeve. It looks like it's cuffed too. And then a little pocket. Um, here's a long sleeve version with a cute little sleeve ruffle. I love that. And then we've got another version with a little tie sleeve. So I'm guessing same bodice for all of them and then just different sleeve options. So that's really cool because, um, you know, you could make the same shirt four times here and have something completely different every time. Um, so that's really neat. They also have people who have already made these. Maybe these were their testers. So yeah, lots of cute options. A lot of people going for this tied cuff here. That's really cute. Awesome. Um, relaxed fit t-shirt with curved hem. Um, side slit hem. I didn't notice that. Um, banded scoop neckline and choice of sleeve. A has chest pocket and rolled short rolled sleeve. B has a long sleeve with an optional flounce. And C has a self tie sleeve. So that's cool. I wish I could see the split hem better, but none of these. Oh, there we go. There she is. That's cute. So it's longer in the back than the front. That reminds me of the Cali. But this is obviously intended for knits. So, yeah, really neat. I like that one. There are so many good t-shirt patterns out there. All right. We also have this kimono, the Melanie kimono. And cute. So it's got this little front band collar looking thing. Um, obviously a raglan sleeve. It looks to be like elbow length and some pockets, knee length version there. This one has an actual tie. You can see the ties here at the bottom. And this one as a swimsuit cover up looks to just be shorter in the front than the back. And let's look at the line drawings. Oh, the line drawings are the same. There aren't any additional versions. So I guess you just make it shorter or longer depending on what you want. Let's see. Kimono inspired by the traditional garment with sash, generous patch pockets, and three-quarter sleeves. Knee length and loose fitting design that can be used as loungewear or overgarments, as a jacket or cardigan in heavier fabric. So are they saying that all three of these are the same? That's interesting. The one on the right definitely looks shorter in the front. 
and doesn't have any ties. So I guess you just kind of like pick and choose how you want to style it. Excellent. That's the Melanie kimono robe. Now we have the Adele flutter sleeve top and tunic. See how it's little girls and for women? That's so cute. So I guess the sizes must go. Yeah, look at that. 28 sizes for girls and women. Well, there you go. Um, here's a women's version. It looks to just have like a big flounce. Let's see if we can get some better pictures. Right off of the bat, it's really cute, I think. Look how sweet. So cute. I was trying to see how this side is constructed. It looks to just have like a side panel. Sometimes these little flounces will connect like down here at a point on the front and back. And that can make for a very difficult like gusset under the arm, but this looks to be very beginner friendly, which is nice. Um, yeah, so there she is. That's actually really cute and really sweet. I like the shorter version the, the best. Um, but you know, with any of those great, um, cotton and steel, um, rayons, the, um, Rifle Paper Company ones would look great in this. I don't know, any little tiny floral print. That's kind of what I envision in my mind. Um, relaxed fit blouse with round neck and adjustable tie at the waist. Trendy flutter sleeve, side panel, and straight hem that flatters many silhouettes. View A hits just above the hips, and view B is tunic length with optional pocket at the side panel. I really like this one. The Adele flutter sleeve top. That's cute. There are some other flutter sleeves out there, but I think this one would sew up um, easier, um, would look more professional in the end, and I just think would be a better make. We've got some high-waisted leggings, which honestly are a little bit intriguing to me because um, I've been doing a lot of yoga lately, so I got some fabrics from Stylemaker a while ago and wanted to try something other than the Virginia leggings, something more sporty. Um, this looks a lot like the ones that I get from Fabletics. So yeah, I could see myself making that one. Does it have side seams though? Oh, it's really hard to see. I don't think so. I think no side seams. Let's see if the description says. We revisited a classic and updated it with ingenious seaming, no center front seam, and a gusset. View A has wide contoured waistband. View B is finished with an elastic at the waist. Three length options, mid, thigh, shorts, capri ankle. So no center front seam. Huh. She's right. Look, no center front seam. I don't know if that would be good or not. I'll have to do some more research into the leggings. Cute fabric for it, though. Then we've got a bralette and panties set for those of you making your undergarments. We've even got some for men. This guy showing us what he's got. The Frederick hoodie is super cool. This could be unisex. Look, the guys and the and the boys. Cute. I mean, you could definitely make this for a girl. It's not you know, it's a little bit slim even, so the sizing might even be good as is. Um, the color block versions are cool. Yeah, neat hoodie. Great make for Father's Day. You still have a little bit of time, like a week, but you could do it. All right, we've got the Lisette pull-on pencil skirt here. Um, let's see. If we can tell any, oh, look at all of that seaming. That's cool. Clearly made out of like a ponte here, which is very nice. And then you've got this banded version. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. Look at all of those options. Okay. So basically you've got the top row is no waistband, no seam details. 
short length and knee length. And then you've got the really cool like geometric seaming and again, short length, um, knee length. And then you've got one with a waistband, short length and knee length. And the waistband is cool because it scoops down. So that could be really flattering. Um, slim fitting, high waist, pull on pencil skirt that sits at the navel with two length options mini or knee length. A has skirt with elasticized waist. B is skirt with elasticized waist and flattering angled seaming. Perfect for color blocking. C is skirt with wide waistband. Super quit sewing project. Perfect for beginners. Easy way to create a chic and sophisticated look in no time. And look at some of the makes. This one is really cute. Good job, Shirley. That's adorable. Yeah, I'm a little hippy and curvy, so I'm not sure about, um, like, tight-fitting knit skirts, but it could be cute. It could be cute. Look at that. We've got scrubs. That's fun if you know a nurse. And move on to page two. We've got the rose sleeveless button-down shirt already looks right up my alley, right? I mean, anything that's ever featured in a blue and white stripe, got my name written all over it. This looks to be like collared with a bow. Here's the sweet little girl's version. I love that sleeve, even though it's for a little girl. Um, and then there's the more simplified collar. So yeah, it looks like with or without a bow and with or without ruffle sleeve-ish detail. Sleeveless button-down shirt with collar, relaxed fit through waist and hips, bust start in adult sizes, rounded hem, back yoke, forward shoulder seam, and a box pleat at the back. Very professional drafting there. That's what all of your button-downs are going to look like in the stores mostly. Uh, a has a bound armhole with chest pockets, and B has a partially bound armhole with a shoulder ruffle and tie. Look at these two. Oh my gosh. That's really cute. That's just adorable. Little twin girls. And then here's like a, just a chambray, I guess, or like a little printed option. Yeah, great little... Um, great little top for summer. I wish that they showed the back. Like not even the line drawings have the backs on there. I'm noticing. Unless it's down here somewhere. Nope. That's it. Um, but yeah, the back would be nice to see. All right. Lastly, we've got the Bobby V neck top. And she looks cute. A little dolman sleeve, really great in this sequin application. That's a great option for those kinds of fabrics because it literally has side seams, you know what I mean? And that's it. And I wouldn't be surprised if the back of this is solid black and not the sequins. That would be awesome. Um, and then there's a striped version. So it looks like you can also make it with a bra underneath. For, that's perfect for yoga. That's making me very excited for my yoga workouts. Let's see. Rounded v-neck dolman top with unique cropped tank-like facing that keeps the neckline against the body and hides the bra at all times. No more layering, no more unwanted reveals even when you bend over to pick up something on the ground or hail a cab. Interesting. So, recommended fabric. Fluid knit with nice drape. Double breast probably is not recommended. It would cling to the facing. What are they recommending the facing may be made from, I wonder? This is intriguing simply from a drafting perspective. I think that it could be really interesting to do a play on a sheer with a crop top underneath for all those teens and people in their 20s or even older with rockin' bods 
um, or something lighter knit with a more structured knit for the tank underneath to go to yoga in. I guess my only question is this facing probably doesn't have an elasticized band to hold it to your rib cage like a sports bra, but that can't be that difficult to pack. Um, but it is sewn into the neckline. They're not separated. So I don't think that that's like the intention for the top, but maybe it could be sorted out if I think about it. But it is very interesting concept to make something with a facing like that um, that prevents, you know, anything from showing. Um, that's really cool. Definitely not something I've ever seen or even heard of before. Um, so neat. Very neat. None of these pictures are really showing that or the facing, but it'd be interesting to make just to see how it all comes together, you know, and see how it works like in real life. All right, there you have it. Those are all of the patterns in the new Jaylee sewing pattern collection. Um, head on over to their site. There will be a link in the description box. Let me know if any of these struck your fancy. Um, let me know if you've ever seen or heard or maybe sewn something like um, the Bobby in the past. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Is it comfortable? Is it still cool? Um, temperature wise, you know, those are some of the questions that I would have. But overall, I think it's a great little indie collection. Certainly um, leans a little bit more toward the casual side, which for me right now, coming off of Me Made May is great because I could use a lot of those tops. Um, so yeah, anyways, let me know what you think. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.